Yes, folks, it's true. We have some major Pokemon Legends Arceus stuff to talk about today. Uh, and it has to do with the visuals, apparently, uh, and a little bit more than that. But don't worry, we're not going to spoil anything for you. I know some of you guys might be aware that Pokemon Legends Arceus has leaked. It has. It's official. I will show you a couple images proving it. Again, nothing spoilerific, but still, it has leaked. We have a couple other stories I want to get to first, but yes, we are going to be really focusing in on this new Pokemon Legends Arceus stuff. That being said, uh, we do have a couple giveaways going on right now. To find out what those are and to enter, head down to the pinned comment or to the description. Otherwise, if you're new to the channel, I would appreciate if you would drop a like and subscribe. First up, we have Pokemon. News on Pokemon, not Legends Arceus, but news on Pokemon in 2021. This comes from Matt Piscatella and the MPD, who has now released their final report for 2021 for the video game industry. And Pokemon has reached its highest physical sales in a single year ever, which beats out the year of 2000. Um, and when we talk physical sales, we're talking about just total Pokemon games sold physically. So that includes Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, new Pokemon Snap, and trailing sales of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Those combined have led to the highest number of units and dollar sales in Pokemon history in terms of physical. Obviously, this doesn't include digital. So yeah, last year was a really big year for Pokemon. Obviously, this year is going to be a pretty big year as well. Still, that's really, really cool. Also, just to clarify, if this wasn't already obvious, Switch was the number one selling system last year in the United States according to the MPD both in terms of unit sales and dollar sales we don't have any official figures but yeah I thought that was pretty obvious considering it won every single month but one so yeah obviously switch is the runaway winner last year we'll see if it's a runaway winner this year All right, our second story here uh, deals with Kingdom Hearts you guys might not be aware but the Kingdom Hearts games are landing on switch on February 10th that was announced today again these are cloud streaming versions and the demos are available right now now that's really cool that's an interesting note in news for those that are interested in playing the cloud versions on switch however the pricing is something I really want to get into here so here are the pricing they have a price for the entire collection and then individual so Kingdom Hearts HD 1 1.5 plus 2.5 remix cloud version on its own is $39.99. However, it's going to have a, a launch discounted price at launch of $31.99. Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue cloud version is $49.99 but it's launching at $39.99 for a discounted price. These discounts are temporary, by the way. Kingdom Hearts 3 plus Remind Cloud version is gonna be $49.99, and that's launching at $39.99 at a discounted price. Um, so yeah, these discounted prices are weird. You're launching at a cheaper price than you're gonna be selling it for like a week later. I don't understand the reasoning here. Then it gets worse. Kingdom Hearts, Intergum Masterpiece for Cloud, which is the entire collection together, is $90, which you'll notice is significantly cheaper than buying them on their own, like to the point that why would you ever buy them on their own? Uh, but it's launching at a reduced price of $71.99. That's a big difference. What was that, $18? I honestly don't understand what the point of this is. Why do they have to launch them at discounted prices? When you launch them, they've already been promoted by Nintendo. They're already gonna appear atop of the recent selling, maybe even be in the best seller list for a little bit, depending on how many people are gonna jump in on the cloud versions. I don't really understand why the discounts are there. And by the way, I'm not saying, hey, get rid of the discount. I'm saying the discount should just be the standard price. It should just be, what, $71.99 for the entire collection. It should just be, you know, $39.99 get Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8. Kingdom Hearts 3 should just be $39.99. 1.5 with 2.5 should just be $31.99, if not $29.99, or cheaper. These games are available much cheaper on other platforms. So I don't understand what they're doing here by basically saying, at launch, we're gonna give you a discount, but you buy after launch, yeah, screw you, we're charging you more. I, this is just baffling. I understand the idea is to encourage people to jump in at launch, but if you really want to encourage people to jump in at launch, sell each of these for 20 bucks. For 20 bucks each, people would probably be willing to give the cloud version a legit try. Without that, charging these prices, I'm not so sure that you're gonna get too many people jumping in, but we'll see. As I said, demos are out right now, so you can see how well each of these games runs on your local internet connection, both wirelessly and obviously docked. Let me know your thoughts on this. I haven't tried it yet myself because we have to play Pokemon Brilliant Diamond tonight instead. I got, I got two Tuesdays left to beat Brilliant Diamond before Legends Arceus comes out. 
Now, speaking of Legends Arceus, we gotta get to our coup de grace, the big story here. And first off, it starts off with the fact that Pokemon Legends Arceus has leaked. Here's some proof of that. This happened on a Facebook page where the person posted this. Um, it has since been verified by a few media members who have review copies at this point. And there's a couple screenshots that I'm not going to share with you just because any screenshot could be considered a spoiler, I guess. I don't really think the screenshots shared at this point, which are like the very beginning of the game, are spoiler, but you know, just to be safe, yeah, I'm not gonna show you them. Now, you can obviously make sure you filter all Pokemon Legends Arceus from now until the end of the month. We warned you earlier this month, by the way, this was going to happen, so this isn't surprising. It looks like it was a legit retail copy that leaked. This happens, if it's not from the media, it's from people getting retail copies early. I don't know, there, there's serial numbers involved. Nintendo might be able to hunt this person down, hunt the retailer down, and maybe shut it down or do something about it, but this is just one of what's likely gonna be dozens and dozens of leaks. The ROM files will be online, I'm sure, shortly if they're not already. Now, that being said, I wanna focus in on something that Nate the Hate, aka Direct Feed Games, said on Twitter, and he actually has a review copy of the game. And this is really interesting because he noted something that he is able to talk about, sort of, but obviously he's gotta wait for preview embargoes and review embargoes to go up. And he, he tweeted this out. The narrative around Pokemon Legends Arceus visuals is going to hit a hard pivot soon. Now to clarify the narrative around the visuals is that the game doesn't look very good. So to hit a hard pivot would suggest that maybe the game is better looking than you think. And for it to be a hard pivot, significantly better looking? Interesting. But he goes on to say, I'm looking forward to it. And then he does like a little, you know, summation quote of the internet internet why didn't nintendo let so and so assist and help on the game well about that and then somebody literally says let me guess monolith off and he directly responds and says yeah they helped on the game so that could mean other teams obviously helped on the game as well it doesn't have to just be monolith soft because he says monolith soft played a small role as he replied to somebody else but i think if monolith soft is the big thing here and even even if let's say Nintendo's Mario team or Zelda team or something helped out with this game. It doesn't matter to me what teams helped. It's actually just going to make the narrative worse. Now, unless Pokemon Legends Arceus, when we booted up, looks significantly better than all of the footage we have seen, which it very well might, but if it doesn't look significantly better, if it looks exactly the same as it's being represented to us, I'm not so sure the the um, debate, the narrative around the visuals is going to take a hard turn. Now he's suggesting it will, but I, I don't understand like how you could say that. Even if Monolith Soft helped on it, even if say the Breath of the Wild team helped out on this game. Let's presume in the best case scenario, that's what happened. That's only gonna make it look worse that they helped out and this is still the end result visually. Now, I wanna be clear here. I'm not so sure why a lot of people get excited about Monolith Soft helping out when it comes to visuals. Visuals are not actually what Monolith Soft is known for. Yes, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 looks fine. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition looks a little better. But, I mean, it's not like they're visual feast. They've had performance issues. They've had issues with resolution. But they have a lot of experience making open world style games. Hence why their experience was invaluable for Breath of the Wild. But they had nothing to do with the visuals in Breath of the Wild. The visuals were handled by the Zelda team. So Monolith Soft helping out with this game probably wouldn't impact the visuals anyways. Now, if the Zelda team or somebody else did, you could argue that, but honestly, I'm not so sure he's right. Now, he's claiming, as someone with direct knowledge playing the game, um, is going to say that narrative's going to flip, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. I have significant doubts that that narrative is going to flip, and I got nothing. I got no footage to show you uh, that I'm willing to show anyways, because I'm not going to show leaked footage or screenshots, etc. Um, when the previews and reviews drop, maybe maybe the narrative will start flipping then. But, I mean, he says the narrative is going to flip on the visuals. I, I, I don't honestly agree. Well, here's the thing. Them getting help only is going to make it worse and make people dig in even more on this game looks visually bad. Oh, you had Monolith Soft help? Oh, you had the Zelda team's help? And it still looks this bad? <sighs> this is just the way it is. People are going to dig in even more. I don't think it's a hard pivot at all. But that being said, I guess he would know more than I would because I haven't played the game and he has. So when you have experience playing the game and I don't, you know what, your opinion at the moment matters more than me. So take it for what it is, let me know what you think. Do you agree with Direct Feed Games, Nate the Hate, that it, the narrative's going to take a hard pivot once people get that game in their hands? Or do you think it's just gonna make people dig in even more? I'm on the latter half of that, but again, I haven't played it, so I can't tell you. 
I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Pokemon Legends Arceus, by the way, launches in 10 days. Holy crap, guys. We're almost to the end of January. Damn. All right, folks, I'm Nintendo Rebel Jazz from Nintendo Prime. I want to thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.